in this point is very important. Now we all know what is FRC, it is the functional residual capacity. Functional residual capacity is, is very important for anesthetists because it basically indicates the oxygen reserve we have when we have a uh, apneic period. And what determines the functional residual capacity? It is a balance between two compliances, compliance of chest wall versus compliance of the lung. So we all know that the lung tends to recoil inwards whereas the chest tends to recoil outwards. In children what happens is they have a very compliant chest wall which is three to four, six times higher than the lung, lung compliance. So basically what this uh, translates to is the FRC is lower and it tends to encroach the closing capacity in a small child. So during normal respiration a significant percent of the alveoli could be closed in a small child. So which basically means they will be more susceptible to hypoxia when you have an apneic episode. So these are the implications. One is they, they, they tend to desaturate quicker and the second point is when we do uh, inhalational induction, the onset of action of the volatile anesthetics is much quicker because the minute ventilation is higher as we all said, as we saw in the earlier slide, the minute ventilation has to be higher in a small child because of a higher metabolic demand. On the other hand, the FRC is low. So this ratio of minute ventilation by FRC ratio tends to determine the wash in and wash out of world anesthetics in a small child or even adult patient as well. So um, uh, even at the end of anesthetic, the ones who switch off the, the volatile anesthetic, they tend to wake up much quicker with a gases, gas mode of anesthesia. So um, since children do have a low FRC, they have some intrinsic mechanisms by which they can uh, compensate for the low FRC. So one is this, it's called laryngeal breaking, which is basically uh, when they exhale, they tend to partially adduct the vocal cords. So that is called laryngeal breaking and uh, this is uh, this is seen uh, clinically as uh, uh, as what is called as grunting. Grunting is basically uh, when you do an expiration you tend to make a sound and the sound is because of adduction of the vocal cords and this grunting generally indicates some kind of respiratory pathology but in children this can be a normal phenomenon. So this is one way to compensate for the low FRC. The other thing is when you have an increased respiratory rate, so what happens? The inspiratory exp inspiration expiration the duration tends to decrease and when the expiration duration decreases it tends to de create a intrinsic peak which tends to um, increase the FRC as a compensation. And lastly because of the narrow nasal passages children tend to have a higher resistance to expiratory flow and this also compensates to a certain extent to the low FRC.